Good morning. Hey, baby. Okay, good afternoon, guys. As usual, I started my day with my bullet coffee, and I'm pretty hungry this morning, or this afternoon. And so, about an hour after I had my coffee, I'm about to devour this avocado. All right, guys, welcome to day 21 of our January Keto Challenge. I'm looking like a hot mess, and it's not gonna get any better today. I wasn't even gonna film myself looking like this, but you know what, this is real life. So. Today is kind of like my Friday, so it's Monday afternoon. I just finished my um, run of night shifts, feeling really tired. Mondays are usually a really big struggle for me. So I slept till one o'clock, got up. Um, as I showed you, I had my bullet coffee and I ate an avocado. I'm really hungry and I'm craving something big. The last few days I've been feeling like just doing kind of more of a one meal a day, one big meal. Um, and then maybe a little bit more of that meal a little later on if I'm hungry, but that's sort of what I've been leaning towards, um, not on purpose. Um, and it's kind of how I feel now. I want to make a big dinner. I want to enjoy it. I want to watch The Bachelor and Big Brother tonight, and I'm going to stay in my pajamas. That's my plan. So I figured I would come on in here and show you what I'm making for dinner tonight. All right, guys, so I have everything pretty much ready to go. So this is for myself as well as my family. So this is that pot roast that I bought at Costco, if you watch my Costco haul. The packaging is ripped here, but these are delicious, and they're very, very low carb, which is awesome. So I think for a quarter roast, it's one gram of carbs, which is amazing. And as you can see, there's a lot of fat in it. It's high fat. When this is cooked, once this is done, this is gonna be like fall apart in your mouth. Delicious. So I'll show you once it's ready. It doesn't look very good right now, but it's, trust me, it's yummy. Um, I still had half of my spaghetti squash left. I ate the first half a couple weeks ago. I'm hoping to be able to stop at just one of these pieces today and then save the other one for another day because this is a little bit of a higher carb option, but it is delicious and I can fit it in my macros for the day as long as I can stop at one. For the family guys, I just threw some potatoes and salted water, just going to boil those up. Now what I've got going on here, I'm just cooking up some bacon, so I'm going to cook that up. Take it out of the pan, cut it into pieces, and then in the bacon grease from the pan, I'm gonna throw in some of this kale slaw. So I'm just gonna quickly cook that up in the bacon grease, cut up the bacon, add the bacon into it, and voila, it's a delicious side that everyone will love. Um, carb count, it's about four grams of carb, carbs per quarter bag. So again, a little bit of a higher option, but you guys, Look at the amazing stuff in there. It's got um, cabbage, kale, I believe Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower. I mean, you just can't go wrong with that. So nutritious, so delicious. Add the bacon, oh my God. It is the perfect combination. So this is what I'm doing. Again, guys, staying in my pajamas, gonna make this, and I got a date with my couch for tonight and some delicious food. I'll show you when it's all done. All right, so here's the finished product. Mm. And potatoes for the fam. Showed you I did have two cheese strings and I drank a Zevia while I watched my TV shows. So as usual, we will end this video with a quick snapshot of my food for the day. Um, I didn't eat a ton of food, but my carbs did come to 39 grams of carbs, and that's from the spaghetti squash and the kale slaw mostly. Um, for that, there was 15 grams of fiber, so that ended up being about 25 grams of carbs, which is pretty good for me. Um, the fat and was a little low, protein maybe a little low, um, calories a little low. I wasn't super hungry on this day so um, I just ate what I felt like eating and didn't worry too much about the rest. So um, as usual I'll show you the macros before I end the video. Just remember it doesn't reflect the fiber being subtracted from the carbs so it the macros seem a little high. Anyways that's it for today guys. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.